Well, hello. It is I, Echo Craft. I just want to say hi to everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some synthesizers tonight. Um, and it has come to my attention that, well, synthesizer expenses, or should I say prices, let's say prices. And as you can see up on my screen right here, I have some synthesizers that are anywhere from $29.99 up to, well, let's just say the 10,000s. And I'm not happy about that. And I don't think too many people are happy about that. But anyway, let me, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here, as you can see, and I'll just click on this for you, we have the Artoria Polybrute 12, Polyphonic 12 Voice Morphing Analog Synthesizer at a banging, banging, right there, banging, right? Banging. $39.99. $4,000, kids. Right? Four grand. And we have another one. Let's take a look at this one. This would be the Nord Stage 4. This is an 88 stage keyboard. It's 88 keys. Um, and we're looking at that one at, at a whopping $5,700. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, and what's this? The Yamaha Montage M8X88. That's another 88. What is that? 45, 40, let me see. Uh, can, I, can I get a $4,499? dollars dollars ladies and gents. $4,500. I'm just going to go through these. And here was another one. This is another Nord piano for... $34.99, $3,500. Oh, it was another Nord for $48.99. $4,900. What do we got here? And here is a sequential Profit 10, 61 note analog keyboard. Yeah. $4,400. 44. Yeah. That's, you know, drop in the bucket, eh? Now the Nord banging out at uh, 3300 Nord banging out. Oh, this is a good one. $5,400. Yamaha, four grand. Is, uh, what is this? Another Yamaha bundle? Eh, well, well, we'll skip over the... Is it, what, what do we got here? Oh, this is one of my favorites since the kit that was shown at Superbooth. This is the Mermex, Mermux, or whatever you, whatever you call it. Banging out at three grand. It doesn't even have any keys. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to go through some more of these. And some people are going to criticize me and ridicule me for saying that, you know, these synths are too expensive. Well, I'm sorry, but $3,000, and I know it's all analog. It's a beast, too. It's a very large synthesizer. It is pretty. I want one. <laughs> but not at that price. Let's see what else we got. Uh, some more Yamaha, the Montage, you know, $3,500, uh, $3,600. Here we go. $3,600 sequential profit five. $3,600. I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't, I just don't understand. There's a 30, 37, uh, 3669 for the Nord with, oh, you get a bench seat and a freaking stand. Isn't that wonderful? Um, here we go. 23 for the Korg Nautilus. It's $2,400. Um, oh, here's a Roland. Roland's in on this too. So we got, we got a Roland, uh, Phantom 6 at a whopping $3,200. Now, I know, you know, inflation has kind of got everybody down in the dumps. This is one of my favorites. The Oberheim OBX8, the new one. 
eight voice polyphonic analog synthesizer, $4,500. I just can't even, I, I can't, I don't, you know, oh, it's all hand wired. It's made in the USA. It's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, some people are going to say, oh, well, you know, Echo Craft, you know, you can't afford this stuff. That's not the point. I could afford, I could buy that right now. I could buy, I could throw that on a credit card right now. Do I want to? No. Now, you know, the, you know, people will say, well, Echo Craft, you know, they have made models that are a lot less expensive. Well, I, I, if you can make a model that's less expensive and everybody's saying, well, it sounds just like the OBX 8 or the OBX A8 or whatever the hell it's called. It, well, it, well, if it sounds like it, then why is that one so friggin' expensive? I, I, this is, these are the things that are driving me and the synth samurai and a lot of the synth players that are out there, a lot of synthesized guys that are out there, enthusiasts like us. Why why is so stuff so much stuff expensive? We got another Yamaha right here, motif, mo, mo montage, whatever it's called. Another Nord. Uh let's see with the Hammonds in there. There's another sequential, thirty five hundred dollars for the Prophet Six Six Voice. Now, I have a Rev two that I turned into sixteen voices. It was an eight voice polyphonic synth. I love it. I love it. It's a Dave Smith original. You know, it's it's a sequential, but it says Dave Smith on it. I bought it before he got the name back. Um, I paid um, what nineteen hundred dollars for this synthesizer, and then I upgraded it to with the board, which if I bought it when it was sixteen voices from the get go, at that time it would have cost me. I think it was twenty one hundred. Um, have you seen the price of this keyboard? Let me show it to you. So let's go back. Let's see. Um, here it is here. Rev 2. Look at the price. Now, I put the board, the, the, I put the other uh, eight voices in myself. You can buy the board separately. And I added, so mine's a Rev 2 16 voice. But look at the price now. $2,600. $2,599.99 US dollars. Well, it's a chip shortage, and, you know, it's hard. You know, there's tariffs on stuff in China. And, well, this stuff is supposed to be made in the U.S., so you go figure. I don't know. Um, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, was a Roland Phantom for $3,700. Uh, that guy's happy. He's going to – he's your sales engineer. He wants to buy something. Um, we got – oh, here we go. This one – I love this. This is my one of my favorite things. This is the Sequential Profit 10 module. For $33.99. I, I I'm I don't get it. I I just I can't even right now, okay? Um what else we got here? We got the Roland. Uh, that's uh the Jupiter X. Uh that's yeah, that's you know 28, it's three almost three grand, right? And the Korg Nautilus at two grand, uh, Novation Summit at two twenty two hundred twenty three grand twenty three hundred, um, sequential. Here we go, the sequential, the famous sequential. Now let me move this over a little so you can see. I get this right here. Hold on, hold on. There we go. The famous sequential Oberheim uh, unit that you know, Ob. Six six voice polyphonic analog synthesizer. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. This is a beautiful synth. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Sounds amazing. Played one. It's amazing. Not at thirty five hundred dollars though. I can't. I can't even. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we got coming in here. Uh, Atoria. Now here's the Atoria Poly Brute Six. Look what the price is with this. When this synth first came out, it was twenty three hundred. Yeah, it's up to twenty six ninety nine now for the, for the six voice poly brute. <laughs> you know, when I bought my Matrix brute, 
I paid um, $19.99 for that synth. Um, and now it's up to what? Uh, let's find. Well, we can, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll find that. But we're getting into the big boys now. Here's another one. Ready? Ready? Look at this one. The, Ober, the Oberheim OBX8. And this is the, now remember, this is the eight voice polyphonic. This is, the, this is just a module. Just a module. $3,500. And we went all the way back up here. Where is it? There is it. It's, it's coming. Where is it? It's the, look at $4,500 for the keyboard right here. Right? But here we go. You ready? This is my favorite right here. You ready? The Moog One 16 voice analog synthesizer with a dust cover. Wow. Throw that dust cover in for how much? How much? How much? Let's, can we all see that? We can all see how much it is, right? Let's see. Let's see. Let me see if I can get this to go over. Hold on. Let me see. Let's see if I can. Can I get this to go over? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I jump. I, I jumped the gun. Hold on. Let me. Oh, let's. That's not it. Let's. Oh, there we go. Ten thousand dollars. Do you know that you can buy a pretty inexpensive vehicle for ten thousand dollars? Okay. $10,000. And hey, we're going to give you a Moog cover, a Moog uh, dust cover. It says Moog on it. $10,000. Moog's not even made in the United States anymore. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. From what I heard, all the stuff's being made in Taiwan now. So you tell me. $10,000. Let me tell you something, kids. I'm blown away. Let me see if I can get back to it here. What did I? I messed this up, didn't I? All right, let's see. There's the poly brute. There it is. Um, now, here's a poly brute here for twenty six ninety nine. I don't know why it's like doubled on this. I don't know what happened when I I messed something up on here. Um, and let's take a look at this. This is the sequential. This is the trigon. I actually played one of these guys. It's a pretty cool synthesizer, right? $25.99 for a module, right? $25.99 for a module. There it is. Look at that thing, right? Nice little synth. There's the Prophet 6, 6 voice, $2,300. Sequential Prophet 6. Uh, Profit X, uh, sorry, this is $3,500. This is a very large keyboard. Um, actually played one of these at NAMM. Very impressive. Uh, a hybrid, I believe. Yeah, hybrid sequential um, analog filters, I believe, and uh, a huge library. Huge, huge library. All right. I don't think they make it anymore. I think it's been discontinued. Um. Oh, oh, here we go. Let's look at this guy. So this is the Groove, the Groove Synthesis Third Wave Advanced Wavetable Synthesizer Desktop Module. $3,500 for this synth. It's beautiful. I've heard it. Uh, synth Samurai uh, sent me a, a video on it, and I, I listened to the patches, and I was blown away. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Amazing. However... Not thirty five hundred dollars. Amazing. Sorry, guys. I, I I know people are going to be like Echo Craft. You know what's your problem? That's the price of good synthesizers. I, I don't believe that. I, I I just don't. I can't believe that. Let's let's go. Let's go. Here we go. We have a sequential Profit Five right here. Twenty six hundred dollars. Uh, Eureka Synths. I won't even get into that. That's a very very unique synthesizer. Um. Very unique synthesizer. I'm not even going to go there with that one, uh, but I mean, it is $2,000. It's a lot. Here's the Pro 3 SE. So this is the special edition Pro 3. Um, this is the one with the flip top. Now, they make another one. Uh, this is 22. 
Not too bad. I, I, I'd pay two grand for a synth. I would. That's not too shabby. Um, ah, here we go. Here we go right here. Uh, this is the Oberheim 6. Yeah, sequential Oberheim 6. So this is the... I might have gone over this already. I forget. I've gone through so many already. Um, and then we have this guy right here. Let's take a look at this. This is the Moog Subsequent. I, I always hated this name of this synthesizer. Sorry, Moog. Uh, subsequent 37 analog uh, synthesizer with semi-rigid case for 2129. Now, everybody swears by this synth. I got the sub fatty, which was um, uh, right before this one came out, and I had nothing but problems with it. Um, and I had to have it fixed twice. Yeah. Um, and we have, like, uh, the Korg Grand Stage. We won't, we won't really count that. It's a piano. Three grand. Uh, Bukla. Here we go. I think it's going to pass over Intelligel. I mean, they're a unique company, as as Buchler is. But Buchler's been up there with Moog and, and Oberheim. Uh, I think their, their synthesizers are even more expensive. And this one's five grand for this guy. Very unique synthesis. I'm not taking that away. I'm not saying that any of these are bad synthesizers. What I'm saying is the prices are absolutely ridiculous. Now, Buchler, I know, is all made in the United States, so... There's that, but four, five grand? Come on, guys. Come on. All right, let's take a look at the Waldorf. Here we go. Here's a, this is a beautiful price for this guy. This is the Waldorf Quantum Mark II, 16 voice polyphonic hybrid synthesizer. $5,000. I, I, I can't even. I can't. That's, I just. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, we have another Bokla. Here we go. Uh, Waldorf. Is the Waldorf, uh, what is this? The Iridium? The Iridium Core. I have heard this synthesizer. It actually sounds great. Um, 2400 And then we have another Bukla at five grand. Um, Let's see. Here you go. Another reissue, but yet another reissue of the Mini Moog. Well, this is a darker wood one. Ooh. Um, very nice. Very nice synthesizer. Played a Mini Moog several times. Great. Sounds amazing. This one comes with a whole bunch of fun stuff. Let's get a pedal in there and a stand and a case that says Moog and one cable. I can't, dude. I, I, I'm just so... And I love Sweetwater. Don't get me wrong. That's all I buy. I buy only from Sweetwater now. Um, that's just, that's what I do. Now, here's the Groove Synthesis keyboard. Um, I'm not going to cover these two again. But here's the Groove Synthesis. for $5,000 for the keyboard. Very, very nice. Third wave. Heard it. Amazing. It's got amazing voices. It's amazing. Um, yep, here's the uh, sequential Prophet 5. You know, a poly brute again with a little stand with little legs that you can buy with it are kind of nice. Oh, here's a cheaper Moog. This is a cheaper one. This is, this is the $9,000. <laughs> um, I can't, dude. This is killing me. Um, what else? Oh, oh, we have this guy here. This is a very interesting game changer. Now, I, I, I witnessed this synth when it first came out at, um, this was at NAM, uh, motor motorized synthesis. It's very strange. All these little guys right here, these little wheels, they all spin, and that's how it creates the sounds. And uh, but I, I'm sorry, I can't pay thirty three hundred dollars for something like that. I just, I'm not buying into it. You know. Um, and there's the Moog again, and, you know, so on and so on and so on. And, you know, I'm just, like, blown away by the prices of these. I, I really am. I wanted to make this video because of that. Um, right now, I'm just going to show you if I can. There's the IntelliGel again. I'm just going to go through some of these. Uh, there's the Moog Mini Moog, $4,500. This is the Model D in Cherry, Appalachian Cherry. Uh, 
let's see, Polly Brood again. I want to see if I can find the Matrix Brute Noir by Autori. I'm going to show you the price difference. Sequential. Let's see. It, I, it might not be able to find it. Who knows? Um, there's a Poly Brute 6 again. Uh, let's see. Studio Electronics. The SE. So Studio Electronics, I believe, is the company that made the SEO 2. This is the SE3X, which is a bigger box, bigger knobs. Um, this is a really nice sounding synthesizer, but it, it, you know, coming in at a whopping $2,400. Come on. I can't. Here's another one. This is the V3. I just can't. It's just, it's insane. Um, here you go. There we go. $14,999. I can't. Dudes, uh, ladies, gents, peoples, I, I can't. I, I'm... I can't even... Uh, I should have went backwards. I should have went uh, most expensive to least expensive. Um, you know, there's another Waldorf. Um, here we go. The Colossus. Oh, let's look at these right here. Here we go. The Analog Solutions Colossus Classic Semi-Modular. $35,000. I mean, the people that buy these are basically either synth collectors or they're, you know, they, they're, they're doing soundtracks for movies. I know um, Junkie XL has one of these, um, 35,000, and this one is 63. So for $63,000, I could buy a Mercedes. Yeah. Or a BMW or an Audi. It's a gorgeous synth. You know, I just think that 63 grand for a synthesizer is a little bit, um, crazy. I, I just, I, I'm shocked, to be honest with you. I don't know where, I don't know where the Artoria Matrix Brute went. Um, so maybe the Matrix Brute has gone off the charts now. I don't know. Um, let's find out. Matrix Brute. See what happened to this good old boy right here. Uh, poly brute, poly brute, poly brute. We have a mini brute. That's it, kids. So the Matrix brute is no longer. So I own a collector's piece now. <laughs> um, I guess. I mean, whatever. Anyway, I just thought I'd do a video on the most expensive synths and why they're so expensive. God only knows. Uh, I, you know, there's going to be people that are going to be hemming and hawing and barking at me and yelling at me and saying, well, they're expensive because of this, Jay, or Echo Craft. Um, yeah. You got to understand something. I, you know, I'm old. I've been around the block a few times. Um, back in the day when I was a kid in the early 70s um, and late 80s, that whole span of time, the prices of Moog synthesizers has never changed. Uh, same with Oberheim. So Roland has gone up. Korg has gone up. But the, at least those companies offer you something uh, that the average Joe can afford. Again, I'm not saying I can't afford any of this. I could buy a Polybrew 12 right now if I wanted to. And I'm not brag, being braggadocious. I'm, I'm bragging. I could, I could do that. Do I want to? No. I think that is absolutely, the $4,000 price tag is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm tired of hearing, well, you know, it's R&D. You know, you got to pay for the R&D. Why should I have to pay for your R&D? You know, you one, you're the one that wanted to put the synthesizer out. You're the one, the one, you guys are the ones that wanted to, you know, 
uh, get it out to the masses. Well, you can't get it out to the masses at $4,000. You can't get it out to the masses at, at $10,000. You can't get it out to the masses at $63,000. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I just thought I'd make a video and uh, point that stuff out and um, stay tuned for some more stuff. Um, I won't be ranting and raving, but I will be demoing some stuff. Um, and I'll probably be showing some more, uh, some more gear off. Um, I'm going to do some stuff with the guys back there. And I really want to dig deep, a little bit deeper into doing something with the wasps because they're a lot of fun to play with. So without further ado, you know, thank you so much for, uh, for, you know, subscribing to my page and, uh, you know, like I always say, Stay frosty, stay creative, and peace.